Is this the one? It's on. Grab it. Grab it. Pause. No, nah, that's not a pause. Go ahead. That's a pause. You, no, it ain't. But he talking but he to you. He's grabbing it, so I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm adjusting. All right. Hey, where y'all going? Oh, I'm straight on that. I'm going to the purple shell. Hey, man, say, man, if you don't know, now you do. We tune into the Purple Shell Podcast, and we popping it, you dig? Yes, sir. I am your host, The Real Hill. Not- this nigga retarded as hell. <laughs> Special Ed class, y'all. Look. Yes, it sir. Do you do? <laughs> you already know what's going on, man. We popping it. What's going on? Hey, it's your boy, Reality. <laughs> You dig? Hey, before we get started, make sure y'all liking and subscribing and sharing on the YouTube. We appreciate what you're doing. You dig what I'm saying? Staying tapped in and locked in. Hey, hey, and this uh this episode is brought to you by the Dirty Turtle. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, get you a glass. Don't sit fast. Sit slow on that Dirty Turtle. You dig what I'm saying? And it's know. and it's brought to you by the celebrity mixologist Jerry. Hey, what up, Jerry? Yes, you dig sir. what I'm saying? Hey, and we're going to keep bringing you the special guest to the Purple Shell, you dig? And for the folks that don't know, don't know who you are. You know the vibes. It's your girl, Stunner Dio, a.k.a. the biggest stunner. And we outside. If they don't know who I am, they got to get tapped in. Come on, tap in. Tell yeah. a friend. You tap know what I'm saying? Friend, they slow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on now. So it. so we we hear that. We hear that. Where, where, where are you from? Let's Let's... I, I hear the up north. I don't want to just classify that New York because it could be a little bit, a yeah, lot I'm of places. Everywhere. You know, I'm here from New York. I live okay. in Brooklyn, but you know, mm. I'm, I'm from all over Detroit, West Coast, Africa. You okay. Know? You live in Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn. Okay, she live in Brooklyn. Hey, so what's the dirtiest borough in New York? Bronx. Hands oh, right. down. Just Damn, sure. that's you crazy. You know that? Just tap it in. Just try to see something. <laughs> Damn, that's just crazy. Just trying to see something. Like the dirtiest borough. Why is that the dirtiest borough? That's crazy. You got to go there and find out. And I've been there. I've been there. You ain't think it was dirty? It all looked the same it's a to me. Dingy, but I ain't gonna front. There's some nice places in the Bronx. Like there, if you go higher up, it gets nice. But yeah, I definitely wasn't in the nice spots. The, I know that the, for sure. Yeah, that's why it's the dirty spots. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought spots. honestly, I just be thinking that's how like New York looked when I was moving around. It was just like it all kind of, it all looked the same. You know what I'm saying? To a nigga <laughs> who ain't from there, dirty. that shit looked dirty. That's a fact. It, it's like it's, all, it's just a whole bunch of shit going on. <laughs> like, nah, where is you go to Harlem? Oh, you see, see mad crackheads? Yeah, it's just a lot. I just yeah. be like, what the fuck going on? I don't see no grass. No grass. You gotta, you, but if you go high in okay. the Bronx or in Queens, there's okay. grass. Even in Brooklyn. But you got to go deep. You got to go deep yeah. in there. Yeah. You, gotta you ain't go got no backyards. <laughs> nah, that's funny. Nah, so yeah, uh, we got Stunner Dior. Yeah. In the motherfucking building, you dig what I'm saying? So what, what, where'd you come up with it, with the name? How you get this name, Stunner Dior? Um. You know, that's really it's always been my name for okay. like since since I was a young and like I didn't I didn't come up with that name as a rap name or nothing at first. It's just like been my name because you know you see what's going on like okay pop it <laughs> you see what's going on okay <laughs> going too crazy what's to call it uh are you uh, have you ever do you know where 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 stunting come from like Stunt. the word where the first time you ever heard the word stunting after I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first, the they first. Said, Damn, this baby stunning. <laughs> who, who the number one stunner? Me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. There it go then. My you boy say Jane Brown, Jackie Chain. And then you come <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what I'm he's number one stunner. <laughs> 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 That's funny as hell. I used to tell that to people when they used to ask my name, like stunning, mm. like stun. I'm like, yeah, like I'm the number one. Uh, like, everybody, everybody knows that. You know not that hard. Already know it. That's crazy. Was you always? Was you always? Uh, oh, you say you wasn't always doing music. What you was doing before you was doing music? Um, so I've been in the industry for a minute. Before I was doing music, I did a lot of big music videos and like modeling. So I was in, like Ed sharing music videos. Made a stallion, spice, any of the big pop smoke, any of them big videos on the billboards, I probably yeah. was in them. And I did a lot of like acting. Like that's how I kinda got my start. But I, I used to I was rapping like since I was young. I just didn't do it like professionally. So mm, okay. Yeah. Was that was you uh was you shy or something? Nah, I just, just felt like I ain't wanna be a basement rapper. I'm gonna mm. keep it a buck. Like if anything I'ma do, I feel like it just gotta be of quality. Like I I can't just do anything. So um, I loved music, and I used to be in the studio with a lot of people. I, it all like when I was interviewing for This Is Fifty, I used to interview for This Is Fifty. Mm. 
all the heavy hitted rappers used to come through, you know, and I would do interviews. So people knew that I could rap. Like I wasn't afraid if you like put a beat on, I'm jumping, we're going to rap. You know mm. what I'm saying? But I just didn't want to do it unless I had the right plugs. If I'm in a nice studios, if I had the right production, okay. I didn't want to go to nobody and just like, you know, they don't treat your shit right. Mm, yeah. I feel yeah. it. You want, you want some, some quality from the jump. Yeah, type exactly. Of shit. So I, I kind of waited to the right time. And, um, I started doing music over COVID after I did all the big videos mm. Everybody's waiting, like, yo, you you gonna do a big feature with you know all the people I was running around, mm. and then I kind of dropped my music there. And when I dropped my first single, I came to Atlanta and started doing like shows and performances. And stuff. Mm. How, how long ago was that? When you, when you kind of uh, that was over like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So, are you smiling like that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> you about to say something? Hear ye, hear ye. Um, so, you know, a video been going viral. You're the, you're the African princess, North, North Ghanaian princess. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so, um, what tribe, what tribe, um, you know, so are you a part of, if any? Um, the Dakomba, that's the dog bond tribe. It's in North Ghana. Um, my mom is the queen, Zosa Minaj there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the vibes. Man, that's pretty dope. So, um, what's your uh, native tongue? They do the bani. The bani. Do you yeah, speak but any? I don't. I don't speak. You know, I oh. I like just small things. You know. Oh, all right. Yeah. Mm. I've been in the states. You know. So oh, how, how long you been over in the states? I've been in the states my whole life. So oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. You said what? It's just you, questions that need to be answered. Hold on, I we, like I, that he's educated though. He know the right questions to yeah, ask. Yeah, I was I was trying to go back. Okay, so we said I, maybe I was getting high or something. I ain't here. Okay, you said you you said you the princess or the queen. I'm the princess. a princess. Her My mom, mom is the queen. the queen. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's keep it going. I just want I didn't hear that part from the junk because then I heard I heard something about your mom. And I was like, what? How? You, okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about you, it. You ain't got no questions. No, go ahead. You go keep going. Keep it going. God keep it going. Shit. You feel me? You put like, it, I don't know what to say. Let's put it on. We we in the presence of royalty right now. You feel me? I you know we could have brought the flowers out. We had the flower <laughs> girls upstairs that could have came. We know yeah, yeah, Prince yeah, Akeem just left. Know. What's going on? What like, like, Prince Akeem just left. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what they that's what they always say though. There's it like ever since I went viral. Because I was doing music, my mom became the queen two years ago. So it's okay. new to me. You know what I'm saying? And all the traditional things that we do. I was so engulfed in my career. Like I said, I've been in the industry for a minute. I left my crib, 17. I've been doing the whole Hollywood thing. And my mom was back over in Africa. She became queen. Mm -hmm. I was going back and forth, but at the time that she became queen, I had just launched on the timeline and stuff. I had just launched my first single, so I was doing drill music. Mm -hmm. And I was in New York, and I was doing all the major videos. So I didn't really want to go home because I'm like, no, it's going good for me. I don't have time to take like long breaks. So, you know, and then everything with COVID happened. Mm. So I couldn't really go home. And they have, gotcha. like, a lot of big traditional festivals. So I finally started really going back home after the first time in, like, two or three years this past few months. So um, I went home the first time. I went viral three times out there for the same thing. And the first time I went home um, was in October. We have yeah. a big festival called, like, Damba Festival. And it's basically a festival in the north where they have all the kings and the queens and the chiefs. Like, they, it's a giant, like million people come outside it's crazy and mm -hmm. you know it's all so my mom prepped me for that i went mm -hmm. to damba and you know they had me on the horse and the chariot mm -hmm. doing the whole thing everybody's around so i posted the video on my tiktok What's so it, it started it went viral the very next day i was flying in the airport to the next city and i ran into one of the to the biggest artists that's from my town fancy mm -hmm. got him shout out to him He's in the middle of dropping. He was in the middle of dropping his first album. Mm. So he met me. He's like, oh, and I was with my mom. So he's like, oh, you're with the Princess You King. He's from right around my my um, my um palace. He's literally from around the corner. So he knows a lot about tradition. He took me right under his wing. We went on a press tour all through Africa, um, all through all through uh, North Ghana. Mm. We went on a press tour. He was bringing me out every night, 10,000, 15,000 plus people every night. Boom, That's boom, boom, right. boom, boom, boom. Everything going viral every day. 10K, mm. not the 10K followers, just mm. going in TikTok, TikTok, Facebook. Everything's going crazy. Um, I went home for a month. I came back to New York. I had a few bookings, and I went back out there in December. I had a few shows already lined up because if a lot of people don't know, but y'all, I don't know if y'all heard of, like, Afrochella or something. Like, Afrochella is, like, 
the Coachella, but in Africa mm, okay. they have one where like Burna Boy, Davido, every year, uh, I think last year they had Chris Brown. That's where Meek Mill got his phone taken at. Mm, okay, That's where okay. I'm from, just for like, you know, reference. Okay, gotcha, So where gotcha. he got his phone took last year. That's, so we go back down there in December, they have all of these shows. It's like Coachella mixed with Rolling Loud, mixed with South by Southwest on steroids out there. Mm. I never went through mm. in this time of year. So I didn't know that. And like, mind you, I'm over here doing music. Yeah. So by the time that I had did all of that press and radio, everything was rolling, rolling, rolling. I performed at two different arenas, mm. and, but two arenas that my friend, he broke the record. They brought people out full sets, 10, 15. I posted some more TikToks about me being one of the first um, princess. I'm only child. So in the future, yeah, my mom will be a queen and things like mm. that. So I posted a TikTok about me being one of the first princesses from the U.S. That's in our town mm. and also being a rapper. So that mm. like went crazy viral. Millions of views <laughs> everywhere I was going to Africa was going up. No, that's hard. That's, that's hard. What, what is a, what is a, a day in the life of the princess out there? Like, or just, you know what I'm saying? For people who really don't know what's going on. Um, the, that has a lot of, with the traditions, I have a lot of political ties, but like okay. waking up, like there's a lot of things that you have to do in traditions. They very mm. like deep rooted and you got to be on point. So when I fly in town, the first thing that happens is we fly in, we get picked up at the airport. When we get to the airport, they come with the drummers and everything. Mm. Like drummers, they start doing all these prayers for my mom. Like the queen has arrived. Okay. And like when they come, you got to like basically have singles and like tip people like it crazy every time we land from the airport and we go there we have to go straight before we go and drop our bags off we have to go straight to the palace and we have to go meet the king mm. and you know my mom is not married and i'm not married mm. so it's kind of very different for our country she's not married i'm not married i'm the only female and uh, my mom is the eighth queen and she's from us as well but she's mm. the eighth queen chief of all of history over the dog bond kingdom which is over a million people which is one of the you know oldest century kingdoms that we have like okay it's, you know it's some deep rooted traditional stuff in there so hmm. we go we check in with them we do the whole thing i me i got my own life so i go to the studio after you know i do okay. those things but i have like a i have person with me that like typically escorts me around okay. and you know do everything i'll go to the studio i'll go out we might have some events to attend they do like a lot of um a thons basically like mm. during to break guinness book of war records so they have like cookathons. okay I got you, got you. okay they had a a, a kiss a thon a like where somebody to, to try to kiss the longest to break a record Sheesh. the funniest one though they had a standard thon hit, thon Bro, they they right. just like they go crazy though. Like yeah, that's, the fuck a thong. Anything, any yeah, exactly. anything a thong. No, like no cap. Anything a thong. Thong a thong. Like, thong, a thong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thong, 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 thong. Uh, they go crazy with the thongs. They had a stand a thong, and my man, he uh, he didn't even last four hours. Mm. Like just standing up, like he quit. Yeah, that shit did. Yeah, four hours just standing up is kind of hard. Nah, it's really tripping. people out here working eight hour jobs standing up. In my sheesh. <laughs> Well, if you ain't got to, it's like, what the fuck? Said, <laughs> Niggas nah, do be taking a break, though. You're late against the wall or something. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> so, yeah. shit. Hey, so what's the uh, transition like going from the African heritage to coming over here to America and, I guess, so to say, not be the same, you know what I'm saying, as over there? Um, It's different, but, you know... The industry is the industry. Like I said, my, my life over there, I've gotten, it's the same thing. I'm moving around doing interviews, shows, radio. The The traditions are different because there's a lot of Muslim people and different beliefs and things. And then coming back home, obviously, they're like, it's crazy in New York and Atlanta. Like, when they see all the content that I'm doing over here, they see everybody in the clubs, all the girls turned up. They like, y'all are, like, lit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. But honestly, for me, like, Africa, the parties are way more lit, like, they know how to party. Like the strip clubs are lit. Like it's it's a proper vibe. It's a proper vibe. The parties mm. stay open. You might party till ten, eleven a.m. Like yeah, the club end. There's like three after clubs. Like so, the, you'll go to the club. They don't start the club. They probably get there like two thirty. The best time to get to the club, even for a regular person, one thirty. Mm. Two, you get to the club. You party there till like five, four, four thirty. Then they go out the club and they go to this next spot. And then from there, they go to this other after, and it's a giant club with a pool in the middle, but it's out with no roof, so the sun is up. They still popping bottles. They going crazy like, out They there. going crazy. 10, 11 a.m., the club sheesh. ends. I need to be at a club that closes at 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay, so so being being a princess, do you how, – how, how is it finding a prince? 
<laughs> right now, you feel me? So does that does that is that part of it? So say if you do get in a relationship, does he become a prince by default? Technically, mm. technically, okay. Like not by default. If we marry, then okay, obviously got you. he's because really what it is is like everything is really a part. Everything is written and, and down. So if I've got a connection with you and your name, right now I take your last name on. You mm. know what I'm saying? So. Just out of that, but it's more so if I have a child, then that child becomes an heir and so forth. It stays through lineage. Okay. But you know, the dating life is crazy because I just be thinking everybody's trying to be a prince. And then when I'm in Africa, you know, there's a lot of situations where it's like almost arranged mm. where they, they want me to stay with like kings and stuff. But I'm not going to lie, it's not what you think it is. When you go and they, like, if a king wanted to marry me, yeah. Um, if I was his last wife, I would have to be, like, the water barrier, meaning if they have certain things, I got to carry the water on my head. I have to do all of the house. And I'm like, baby, I, to, I, to, I told the, one of the wives of the king, I said, baby, I'm a superstar. Mm. <laughs> she ain't trying like, to do the hard work. Shit. That's the hard work right there. That's the real work. The you know? bananas, the damn um, laundry. The, wa water the water is not light, bro. Water is water heavier is than all heavy. that shit. And it's mine just in a giant, like, <laughs> I'm vase. I'm naming all the shit they had on their head. <laughs> mine is like say? a vase. Damn, it's not there, yo. They like, come by me, why not go home? <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm thinking of. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> what? Fuck That's the water. Crazy. I'm thinking about them bananas, them chiquitas. <laughs> this, that, is that... <laughs> He is dumb. He's no, crazy. no. But is that like you know how like okay, it's crazy because you know how like from being over here, the depiction of Africa is what we see on TV. Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying? That's the very save the children. That's what I feel like people okay. think Africa is. Okay. Like when cause they don't show us the good side, they just show us everything that's rule. Mm. But I could pull up pictures on my phone of like the daily life and stuff, the locations, the clubs, everything like Everything in Africa is really built from scratch. So the same way as this place is decorated, all the couches and stuff, they really built that from scratch. They yeah. got unique strip. Everything is nice. It's mm. really nice if you're just middle class. Like, you don't mm. have to be rich to attain certain things. Here, you got to be rich if you want to get a mm. maid and you got to have this and all of these things. It's really a part of, like, the culture to just, as a standard, to have that if you paying rent. And then, like, you might, and when you're there, you pay your rent for the year. So they don't even do monthly bills. You might pay, like, mm. Six to seven thousand, and that's it. And that's how much you pay for two years in a nice house. And then, like, you'll pay like um, a cleaning lady or a houseboy or something to mm. like come, and then they'll they'll come every day. Everything is like delivered. You know what I'm saying? And that's just if you're living middle class, it's just attainable. You're not, you know. So it's like that's the thing they don't show them. I took some pictures on my page. People didn't know I was in Africa. I'm next to like a Mona Lisa. I'm mm. like, you know, and I'm just really at one of the house. I'm still around the corner from the hood. I wasn't mm. even in like. Some super exotic location. No, nah, for real. That's, I mean, that's good to There's know. There's a lot of you know shacks I mean? and like, stuff too. But the thing is, yeah. like I said, it's the inside. Like when you out on the dirt roads and stuff, because the pavement, that's not, that's because they politicians is super rich. But when you go inside, like they be having Louis V walls and, you know, everything's really designed nicely. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy part. Hey, so uh, with, the, with the culture, right? As far as like over there, y'all are mostly like fully dressed. And then over here, you know what I'm saying? You showing skin. Like, how do they feel about that? <laughs> um, I definitely, when I go home, I cover hey, hey. up. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming up. Yeah, but, like, it really just depends on the area that you're in. If I'm going to go near, like, a mosque or if I'm going to go and do any duties with my mom, I'm going to dress in my, like, proper traditional clothes. But when I'm out and about, you know what I'm saying, I still like to be... I still like to be comfortable. I, I think I, I'm lucky enough to have a balance because they understand that I'm an artist. And, like, really, I really have the country behind my back because they're, like, what you're doing and you're projecting everything to the U.S. You know what I'm saying? You're another outlet. A lot of a lot of the artists, even that's major, a lot of those artists already get millions of streams, like, to keep mm -hmm. it a buck. A lot of them, that you could be, I have a, quite a few famous friends over there that's streaming five million a record it's not bought like mm. it's the fan base is different so they could have crazy numbers bigger than i don't even want to say no names because i know a lot of people out here but bigger than the artists that we know out here that's mm. on the radio streaming yeah. and stuff like that they got more streams on the on the on a regular single over there that's not even on the radio than a, a major artist over here so and their their whole thing is getting becoming international so me already kind of having that like that leverage, leverage over here and me yeah. already having a career and a name over here. Like they're really supporting everything I do and stuff. It's a whole different vibe with the support over there. So with, with, with your, <clears throat> with you being, you know, um, over here in America, 
and being known in Africa, is your streams, you know what I'm saying, better than their streams? Um, it's definitely coming up. Like I said, this is all in the past four months, for real. I just got back from Africa like two and a half weeks ago. I've barely been back. Um, so I spent the most of the year. So since I came back, everything, like my, my TikTok went up 60,000, all organic, millions, my music streams. have. If you look at my social thing, a lot of it is coming in from Africa now. Like, a lot of it. And then my friends be showing me, like, they so tapped in because they really do their research. And if they a fan of you, like, they a fan of you. You know what I'm saying? That when I'm posting my friends, now you get people commenting on theirs. Like, sending love mm. from Ghana. Like, you with the princess. Like, they're just on the internet just yeah, watching, right. you know? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so say if me and Fresh, the purple shell, we go to Ghana. Mm-hmm. Where's the first place you going to take us? Ooh. What we eating? Because... Off the plane, we eating. What we, we eating? eating? We going to either eat some jalo for some fried rice or depending on y'all, if y'all like um, fufu or banku. I like fufu more than I like banku or fish. You might have some beef or some oh, You got to slow down now. Let's let's break it, it down. It what you like. What's the, what's the fufu and what's the what? The, the fufu is what people see. It's like kind of like a doughy substance. It's really like plantain. This and nigga it's like said, he said angel. mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's what it's the kinda, hell it look like. It look like mashed like, potatoes. Right? But it like <laughs> okay. okay. it apart and okay. you got to like dip it in. So they'll have like a type of soup, like a peanut soup or a fish or something. And you can like dip it in there and eat them together. And what is, what's the, what's that called? The stuff that you dip in it in? That's it's different said. stews. Okay, yeah, different stews. Yeah, like they'll stews, have okay. like a peanut stew. Yeah, okay. A palm nut soup, like okra soup. They have different ones you can choose whichever you want and then you said body. something else after the, the food the, though like the jollof rice jollof rice you know, fried rice you said fried you, rice. and you said something else though it was after that it was after oh i like like uh palo sauce you know mm. what i'm saying palo mm. sauce is kind of it's like a they could put fish or you could put beef with like um um it's like almost like a spinach type leaf but it's like grinding. it's so good i don't know like there's so many different foods and if y'all like spicy you know the vibes i like spicy mm. i don't know yeah. if you like spicy yeah I, li- I like to spice things up yeah, I only like my women spicy. You don't yeah. like spicy food? That's how I like to spice things up. <sighs> nah. You don't like spicy food. That's crazy. That's I need it, to it, feel something when I eat my food. It I give like me, my food. It give me a little suggestion. I like when my food make me feel so heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> he said, look, okay, pop up. Yeah, it be feeling some type of way. <laughs> said, I, I used to like to put a little hot sauce, but now I just, you know what I'm saying? I just like, I like good seasoned food, yeah, good tasting food. Yeah, that's what it's really about. Yeah, I like, it I can like, have a little spice, but nothing like that's going to be crazy. Yeah, I like the hot sauce because yeah. the hot sauce, like red hot, is not hot as it used it's to be. It's just flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just I flavor like it. now. I like my food make me hot. You ever put the little uh, liquid, the liquid smoke on that motherfucker and make shit smoky? It like, tastes like you put it on the grill. Mm-hmm. They got liquid... It's grill? Li- it's called liquid. Yeah, <laughs> grill in the, the, grill yeah, in the yeah. can? Yeah, it's like you, you <laughs> sprinkle that bitch on it. It's it like sound it's, like it got, like, it's, I ain't gonna front, it sound like it got mad chemicals in it. That shit, that shit. <laughs> like, how did they yeah, get that? Yeah, that shit in the uh, fuel injector bottle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> that mm. shit be hit. That ain't gonna nah, lie. that shit do be hit. You put that bitch on some chicken, and I'll try, I'll try it try feel like it's straight like, off the grill. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. When I go over there, my body gets so detoxed. Everything's fresh. Like, the animals is freshly killed. Like, so when you. They be having bare power outages. They don't keep a lot of, like, stock, stock food in the refrigerator is always a power outage mm. happening in Ghana. So in comparison to you eating over here and then going over there and eat, eat do you feel like when you release it, it's way different? Like your shit's uh, like Are massive? Are you talking about going to the bathroom? Yeah, your shit's massive. You wilding. <laughs> nah, I'm just curious. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, you, I'm not monitoring my stool. I'm just saying. It's <laughs> like, after, after what? Travel. <laughs> it's like your shit's like, yo, <laughs> she just took some crazy shit. Stuff. He's, hey, nah, that's but, not no, that's not no kinky shit. Nah, I'm just, nah, I'm just, nah, nah, I'm being honest. Cause you different. know, sometimes you go over there, you eat <laughs> processed food over here, that motherfucker might clean you out. No, I will, I'm not <laughs> discussing that, but I will say like, I lose so much weight. Like, <laughs> you're crazy. I, I lose so much weight, like, when I go over there, just from all the fruit, like, the pineapple. You know how pineapple here is, like, make your mouth, like, kind of sour? It, yeah, over yeah, there yeah. is so sweet. sweet yeah. Like uh-huh. It's a different type of it's, pineapple. It's a different type. The the, the watermelons taste different. Mm. I actually came back home about a watermelon. I forgot that I've been seeing those watermelons on the news where they exploding and stuff because they're not even real. Mm. Like, they're, yeah. like... It ain't right. Like, you know, everything's yeah, got... No, I, I feel no like I done gained about 10 mother. pounds since I've been Yeah, back. that's like when I went to DR. you just blowed up yeah. all the process. I had ate the mango over there, and I'm like, damn, this shit good as hell. Mm, I came over here trying to buy a mango. I'm like, mangoes, what the fuck is this? Yeah, the, the mm. mangoes is fire in Ghana. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's what I miss. I miss the good fresh eats. Like, here, even if you go into a real restaurant, you know, they, the food is still like, oh, they ain't just killed that cow yesterday. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so how do you feel about halal then? 
Like I'm saying in the in the, in the in sense of no, I'm just saying. I'm speaking in general. I'm speaking in general. Like you said, oh, they just killed the cow. You know what I'm saying? Versus mm-hmm. over, you know, halal, they pray over they. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's so. It's better energy food. Yeah, basically. Like it's nicer food. I'm just saying they pray over it before they kill it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's supposed to be more. It tastes the same. <laughs> I, mean, nah, I that, thought that, that they gotta, grilled that it shit different. Way different. <laughs> I thought it was in the season. <laughs> I didn't way think different. it was the prayer. It, it's but. something about it that makes it different. I don't. I, I think it's a mix between the two. <laughs> that shit definitely I think don't taste I the same. thought it was the way they marinated. Because it, I only but. seen people of like Muslim descent. Be doing halal. Halal, yeah. That's you feel what I'm saying? saying? That's a, it's, halal so, is regular in New York. We eat halal all the time. Okay. You get it from the corner store, from the Ark. You could go, like, it's a it's prominent in the mills. And if you go to a deli, you eat halal. You eat some lamb over rice. Mm. You eat chicken over rice. But it don't taste better to you? It, yeah, probably, it, it probably tastes different. Tastes a, it probably tastes different. It same. tastes different, like a different softness. The meat got a different tenderness. But yeah. I didn't think it was the prayer, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying I, but it could prayer. very well. I it didn't could, even know that they be, prayed over every life. Because you got to think about it. I mean, energy because is transferred. They, yeah, because the animals tense up, right? Because the, they know they're going to get slaughtered. But if you pray over it, maybe he relaxes. Relax. They, do, it might, they might do it more justly than just a slaughter. They might kill it where it's, you know, yeah, where it's not. Yeah, when they kill the pain. animal... When I'm in Ghana, they do a sacrifice every year as yeah. well for us, and then they cook the food after. But they just slice his throat, and they do do a prayer before as well. Okay. So I guess the food yeah. is always delicious. I'm, I'm guessing. I guess the prayer makes the yeah. <laughs> make that cow. That's make the, the cow. I'm trying. I don't think I ever. <clears throat> I don't think I ever have ate like uh, any fresh meat. Really, like freshly. Like, like you never went to like the butcher and got no meat. I mean, it still ain't fresh. Like, I'm talking oh, about, talking like, about like, like, I want to see it get killed. Nah, That's the thing that takes the appetite away. Right? <laughs> like, I, I want to know that it got killed today. When you know what I'm saying? Blood, least, just... Maybe not have to see it, but I'm just saying, like, just knowing that <laughs> this this goat so I'm was this, 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 this goat was the one I'm eating. Like, just to, you know, to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of goats, they're so cute. <laughs> Oh my Them shits goodness. taste better than, than you know what I'm saying. But the, no, they're really cute when they're small, and then they like. Do they eat, do they eat the baby goats or the big goats? I, they let them get a little older, but okay, that's the little. thing because they say like they think I'm crazy for thinking they're cute because you don't want to get attached. Tash, to yeah, it it's like a, yeah. To so let me ask you a question. Like a dog. What what noise does a uh, a goat make? You wanted me to make a sheep noise. We said a goat noise. A goat. <laughs> Why did you say goat go back? I don't know. I haven't been that close to a goat. Yeah, I thought they make the same noise as sheep. They're cousins. What's they the What's the noise? Like, bah. No, you gotta you gotta extend it. <laughs> <laughs> you, what is, One more what? time. You gotta extend it though. What is not it? the extendo? You got, you, we gotta know. <laughs> bah. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, that she's. That's crazy that motherfucker said make a goat noise. She said, You want me to do it like a sheep? <laughs> like what? Like no. She said it like it was a trick question. Right. No. I thought it was. Like. Is she crazy? Nah, no, that's funny. <laughs> nah, no, so uh what 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 else what else like since you know you say you from from like New York, from the States or whatever, like being down here, what's the what you like being down here? When I'm in Atlanta? Yeah. I love to eat. Y'all know mm. how to cook. Mm. Mm. That good down south food. Some good down south food. What you like and to eat? Like What's your favorite restaurant right here in Atlanta? Uh, I don't know, really. I mean, I, I, I used to go to, like, back in the day. I've been coming to Atlanta for a lot of years. I used to go to, like, Papa Do's and stuff when I was younger. But now, that's, that's not like my McDonald's. taste no more. That's what I'm saying. That's mm-hmm. now I've grown out of that taste bud, so I don't even like that type of stuff no more. I'll be more so eating in lounges and just give me some salmon. And call it a day, some salmon and asparagus. But my habit is the first two days I get here, I gotta go get all the fast food and get go JJ's and give me. Oh, some you gotta dishes. go to JJ's. JJ's. Go to Make JJ's. sure you get that lemonade too. <laughs> yeah, gotta go to JJ's. Might go to Zaxby's. Like I just go to I wild out real quick. And when you go to Zaxby's, what you get? Uh. You get a zap like a, she look like yeah, a wings and a, things. Yeah, I'm like a wings and things. Yeah. <laughs> she look like she with get the, a with the, with the fire is buff, the hottest sauce. Yeah, like I the bet. Oh, tongue, say, that's crazy. Tongue, sauce. Tongue, tongue torture. Yeah, tongue torture. <laughs> tongue that's storch. what I like. Yeah. Torch tongue. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, that early. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I picked you up as a zalot type of female. Uh, my manager is a zalot type of female. Mm. <laughs> he had the zalot. Was it good? <laughs> she liked the zalot. 
<laughs> I guess, I guess she, she rubbing her stomach. She likes the zealot. She likes the zealot. I don't know. I don't think niggas should be saying stuff with Z's like that. Zealot. That's why I want to try it. Like, damn. I ain't, nah, I ain't do all that. <laughs> I ain't do all that. I said damn. zealot. You know I, mean? I ain't stretch that shit out. You know that, what I'm saying? Let me get a zealot. I ain't do all that. Damn. Nah, I said zealot. Okay, <laughs> you shit, try to switch it up that's now. It, that shit fast. Yeah, no, I said zealot. Yeah, you yeah. told me earlier. Nah, I said zealot. <laughs> I said zealot. That's all I said. Yeah, I, I'm I, ain't, I ain't you know that. I ain't do all that shit. Mm-mm. <laughs> nah. So right now, what uh, what uh, what music you pushing right now? Um. So I got a single called Royal Things that just dropped December twenty second with me and my boy Trev. Trev Mula. Yeah. Okay. Go crazy. And then uh, I got a single, Hot Tonight, that also just dropped in December with DJ Sky High Baby from the Baddies. Okay, um, go crazy. And then I got a song called Stop Playing that's about to come out this week, and we're distributing with Empire, so shout out to them. Yo, shout out to Gazi. Yeah. Go crazy. For mm-hmm. shitty. Hold on, so so when we met you the first time, was you a princess? Ah, oh. What, so, was, it was probably within two years. The thing was, I didn't tell nobody I was a princess. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just want to know. Princess, yeah. But for for a few years, but I wasn't really okay, only okay. my immediate circle knew. I didn't tell nobody. Once I posted the content, the cat is out the bag. Okay, okay, yeah. Cause we we uh met mm, last year around this yeah, time. Yeah, I was a princess. I was okay, a princess. yeah, yeah. She, was, you know, what I'm saying I was like, I felt the energy. <laughs> <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> no, for sure. That's hard though. So, uh, you got you got anything else? Hey, hey, nah, no, I'm talking shit. As, let's, okay, so tell me a secret. Now I'm going to ask y'all some questions. Tell you a secret, a secret about you. me? Yeah. It's our show. Uh, right, you, you got you to ask a difficult. You can't just tell a secret. Like, we can't just, damn, we, just, we ain't no snitch. Like, we, it's a secret for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, we ain't no secret no more. Yeah, whisper it in my ear. Ooh, there you go. That's you whisper in your ear. Yeah. A secret? Yeah. Nah, it's, it's a secret. Ain't nobody going to trust me. They're going to be like, ah, oh, man, he talking about I me. I said tell you about yourself why would you tell them somebody else i ain't got no secrets about myself i'd rather tell them somebody you? else than tell them myself <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? watch out for him right. I ain't why, why would, I, why would no I tell on myself <laughs> that doesn't make sense with him. that says, doesn't make sense going down. do your do your crimes by yourself that's all you gotta <laughs> no, worry about <laughs> no nah, for, nah, for real you feel me no nah, but do you got you got any questions you want to ask besides Secrets, because we can talk about whatever. Okay, but what's your sign? You want to talk about the sign? What's your sign, man? What 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 I look like? What I act like? A maniac. You act like a um, yeah. mm. maniac. Yeah. Maniac <laughs> on the floor. Yeah. So you give me. I'm not like huge on signs, but either you're like a super outgoing sign, but like you're not because you're introverted extrovert. Definitely but like, introverted. um, yeah, you're introverted extrovert. But like you're like me, like me before the set, we like nobody talking, like you know, got be an extrovert. Mm-hmm. So I, it gives me like you could be um, either like something outgoing, like a Sagittarius, or like um, a, a, a Pisces, Aquarius, or Gemini. But you could be totally opposite, like a Leo. Yeah, she named all of them. That's half of the damn. It, so it, one of which which one? one? Or which or one, one of them? What sign are you? Cause I ain't, I ain't good at signs. I don't play the signs. I'm an Aquarius. Game. All right, I'm a Libra. Okay, so that's the one I left out. <laughs> no, but I meant in like the signs that's like that's like me. Cause um, Aquarius get along with like Gemini's, Libras, and Sagittarius and Aries. Exactly, the okay. outgoing mm. personalities. Mm. So that's why I was like, you have either a personality like that. That might be his. That might be his moon and his sun rising. Yeah. One of them. What's your What's your sign? Uh, what you think? Let's let's guess for that too. Let's see. I don't know. You seem like something I probably don't like. Mm-hmm. What like you don't a like? Taurus or something. <laughs> right on point. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm a right psychic. on point. And you say you a Aquarius? Yes. No. The thing is, we actually get along with Taurus. Taurus mm. fall in love with me, mm. and um, you I can't help it. For, for five seconds or. Cause like it's never lasting. That's the thing. I don't like tourists anymore. Cause mm. I realize y'all are stubborn, mm. and I can't get jiggy with that. Cause y'all just and then like. Cause y'all, y'all want to flow like the water, and we yeah. and we on the ground standing on business. No, y'all be standing on some uh, BS. Standing on business. Th- not the BS. You can't, you can't stand. You can't <laughs> say business without some BS. <laughs> yeah, because you know why I said that because. Tourists also they stand on business like you said, but then they be like reserved, but then they stand on business, but also like. 
they are hard headed, but they they get along. Like they talk to people, they know how to get shit done. They know how to talk that talk, get what you need done. But then they act like, oh, well, it's cool. I hear you out. I hear you out. I'm gonna fix it. I got you. And then they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over, like every time. I that's what tourists be doing. I stand like, on business. Line, but they, like, I that's stand on business. Because I'm like, I bro, stand like, I told you this all the time. <laughs> you just gonna let me get mad? You feel yeah. me? I think that it's like a. <laughs> You know, I think it's one of the things <laughs> yeah. where we are, we are, we are uh, a leader. So a leader can't sway. You feel what I'm saying? We are a leader of a of a of a group. No, because leader listens. A, a, a leader, a leader listens. That's what we do. We listen and we act and on ignore. our own accord. No, on we don't ignore. Own. We if it's some good advice, we are gonna take it. Mm-hmm. Well, some some you know is hard headed because I don't give out yeah. bad advice. See, that's that water. So, I don't. You don't, I don't give out bad advice. I want to see everybody around me win. For so, sure. So, you know, if I'm going to give advice, even if it's not, like, something I would do. <clears> you, when you give advice, that's the thing. You got to give advice that's be- really best for that person. People are always telling you what I would do, what I would do. But you're not me. Yeah, for sure. You know? And so if I'm going to give advice to somebody, I'll make sure that it's, like, tailored to their vibe. I'm not out here going to tell you some shit that you're going to go. Now you're going to start another fight with your girl because I told you, oh, well, maybe you should try this. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, nah, she probably going to be mad. But X, Y, Z, like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that extra stuff, I can't get jiggy mm-hmm. with it. I'm Aquarius. I go with the vibes, mm-hmm. but I stand on business. Mm, you stand on business. Okay. Like, everybody knows Aquarius stand on business. <coughs> I don't even know nothing. too many Aquarius. I ain't going to lie to you. Because it's the shortest month. I ain't mm. even into them. But it's signs. the only sign that get along with every I sign. Like, I like what I like. Yeah. If I, I look at know. you, I like you. I look at you. I like you. I, I, like I want you. I, 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 I don't care what your sign is. If you find, you mine. You but, say that until you, nah, you like, re- yo, but, I got four exes. You realize, yeah, signs. you Some realize that. Because I started realizing not like the type of the signs that I like attract. And I realized the relationships that I was in were a certain sign. Yeah. And uh, and, uh, and it was like, damn, am I? But I don't, you know, the I don't go shit into I noticed it thinking about, about that it. is me dating somebody that's a day before, a day after my birthday. And I'm saying like, damn, y'all motherfuckers get on my nerves. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I would not date another Aquarius man. What? Absolutely not. But uh, uh, uh. Aquarius the October is Libras, they be, you know what I'm saying? They be yeah. different. Unbalanced. Than, than se- September Libras. Un- unbalanced. Whatever yeah. that means. Yes, that's about a Libras. Yeah, that's for sure. I not- dated all the signs. <laughs> so, so, so let me ask, let me ask you this: You, uh, you think like can so can no, can <laughs> men and women? Ain't be nobody about to be a prince, <laughs> right? That's over with. <laughs> can men and women be friends without anything else? Oh yeah. If I was to say no, bro, you know how many men would probably start hitting my phone? Like I knew that dude. So you screwing them dudes that's right next to you? Like it would be something crazy because. Like, I'm in the industry, so first of all, this is a male industry. Same way as I'm sitting in here, it's four or five guys in the room. It's always like that. I might have on a little something sexy, a little mm-hmm. ski through top. You could be my best homeboy. But mm-hmm. if I feel like when you like somebody in a certain way, you're going to want to see them win, but you're going to also want to see what's good for them. So I definitely feel like I got some thirsty homeboys, I ain't going to lie, but they would mm-hmm. never try nothing on me be like, because they know that like you don't want to ruin your friendship. Like, you, want, you, you start dating somebody that you... That was you was friend with. Now mm-hmm. y'all can't be friends no more because y'all didn't got into a beef while y'all dating, and now y'all not friends. Sometimes it's just not worth it. You think that's what he thinking, or that's what you thinking? That's smart men think that way. I don't know what you think about. I'm asking the questions here. I'm not saying what I think about. I'm asking the questions. That's what he should be thinking about. I know that's what I'm thinking about. I, mm-hmm. Every time I've talked to people, that's like, dang, I would, I, I do kind of like you. I want to take it further, but I know me, and I'm a hot mess, and um, if. <clears throat> if we go further and it have don't you, work out, have you, you ever saw? Want to come hang out with me? <laughs> have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever seen a guy with with unattractive friends, girlfriends? No, with unattractive girlfriends. Yeah, dusty ones. They want to know bros. Like you know, like the tomboys. I guess I have. One of the bros is different than being a friend. You know that, right? It's it's. Br- you know how you motherfucker be like sis, sis and best friend are two different things. Oh God! You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, bro and friend is is different too because it's different between being in a bro and being a friend. If that makes sense, so too. Have I seen bros? Yes, bro. I see bros with like some homegirls. That's kind of, but I've seen them with some pretty little baddies. But it's like honestly. If if you hanging out with four or five, like I know once I start dating a person, I don't even want them to be around me and my friends too much. 
<laughs> okay. Like you was funner before we were together. <laughs> now the now the jokes ain't the same. Yeah. I can't joke about men no more because you in the room. Like <laughs> you can't come no more. <laughs> That's fucked up. See, That's fucked he's up. killing the vibes because now he's taking everything personal. Cause yeah. y'all together, so mm-hmm. it's like, oh, when Josh about going like this, what you and your friends be talking about, huh? <laughs> you know? yeah, y'all do y'all, y'all got those guilty looks on y'all faces No, nah, I be chilling Like dang I just texted a shorty that nah, I, ain't, I keep it playing I, I, I ain't worried about that I don't got so no female friends y'all don't be tripping if a girl is around guys I don't have no female friends I ain't got no, I ain't got no friends But if your girl was hanging around with guys you She wouldn't be If it's her job She wouldn't be What kind of job she yeah. needs to be the job that I got. What are you? Where are you? You don't. You don't you, your choice is to be around guys. No, it's, it's not always, my a choice. Choice. It's it's always a choice. It's always a choice. No, that's my industry. job. Yes, that's it is. What I'm saying. It's but your the choice. Industry is the industry because that's my dream. Not. I didn't dream of being around men. <clears throat> you don't have <laughs> like, to be. You don't have to be. You could. You you could record all your music in your house. You could record all your. So shit. that is crazy. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This I'm giving the me, options of bro, what you could me do. Me was just talking about this. We would be in the studio, and a guy could just be like, "Oh, you always in the studio." Like I wish, cause. And it's like, bro, don't talk to me like that for one unless you're not about to build a state of the art studio in our house with your money. First, you don't need that to, to do that, though. I'm not recording ghetto because you insecure. No, it's no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's innovative. <laughs> it's, innovative. To, it's innovative. You don't need a big ass studio to record hits. No, but so you need it for the content. You don't need it for the content. Oh, she's saying for the look. Oh, for the look. Yes. Hmm. If that's what you're doing, I'm if looking you're doing for it. For the for look, the, look. If you're doing it was a big for the artist, bro, yes, y'all gonna have listening sessions. You're gonna be in the studio. It, you're gonna invite the, your features there. It's the time for you, that. I'm not inviting my celebrity features. To, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but you can curate your music. But that's what I'm talking your, about with being around men. I, uh, did, I personally have did records <clears throat> with artists that did platinum records. I got records with big artists, big drill records, and mm. stuff like that. And let me tell you, if if the boy is bugging, like, oh, you in the studio? Because if I do a record with whoever. Little baby, whoever, he going to pull up to the studio with his people. Mm. Now, I'm at the studio, but with my manager, another dude, my security guard, his artist, 10 more people with mm-hmm. them, and now it's all men. That's not my choice to make it all men. That's just what the industry is. Yeah, then that's but cool. That's, honestly, that's cool. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not, don't say it's your choice because it's not our choice. No, 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 that's, no, no. And that's what I was saying. You talking about, yeah, my girl couldn't. Like, that's yeah, what that's my with. that's my girl. I I, I have I'm and I'm, that's why I'm single. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. You got, Are you single and saying. ready to mingle? Yeah, I don't like mingling because I'm not trying to deal with that. You ain't, you ain't trying to find your prince, I'm right? Not trying to deal you don't with want a nigga that's gonna stand on business. You can what no. if, what if what if you don't have <laughs> no. what if you can get the same result <laughs> without being around guys? I don't want to be around girls and hormones neither. Bro. I didn't say you had to be around girls. I just said without being around guys. Yeah, but how you gonna get? Famous by being alone. Like, how you gonna get the bag by not having nobody next to you? you most build, of the you billionaires build, you build, in the world, you build most your of team. the. But listen, most of this is real stuff. Most of the billionaires and the millionaires are men. You could probably look up how many. What's the men to women ratio? Real talk on mm-hmm. on, and it's gonna be men. So if you're mm-hmm. gonna step in those buildings that have the money, you're gonna step in with men entrepreneurs and men CEOs. I can't help that. And then if you're not doing that, if you're in the house and you got your team. I still gonna have to eventually meet them. It's just gonna be more guys because guess what? The guys are the ones doing the business for me, unless I got a female manager. But honestly, if your girl is around girls, the girls could be hoes, and now mm-hmm. your girl is sneaking around guys because she with the hoes. No, for sure. So sometimes it's cooler. Like in my opinion, like the dudes that I be around, if they meet somebody I'm dating, it's it's <clears> almost <throat> better because they know that those guys is like they they feel cool with them too like they feel comfortable like yo that's your bro I know he's got your back he's not gonna let you get drunk he's not gonna let you be outside wilding like he's gonna make sure that like nobody's trying to take you home or something like yeah I gotta meet him first yeah of course you're gonna meet okay. him but that's what I'm saying the yeah. people I hang around with people that's I hang around with a bunch of crazy. I hang around with people that got good sense on their head. No, so for sure. He, you know what I'm saying? You rather that because you know if I'm with a boy now, ain't no boys about to talk to me. Cause <laughs> like no boys is talking mm. to me when I'm with the boys. But if I go out with the girls, all oh, the guys is coming up to me. Mm. Like <laughs> they got it messed it up for girls. Now y'all can't go on no more girls go out. Like where's the guys? Yeah, we know, yeah, trip. Yeah, we know what girl girls goes trip. on on the girls trip. Yeah, what? We know what goes on. <laughs> yeah, y'all be having too much fun. <laughs> But yeah, no, nah, but so, so, but um, now nah, before we get out of here, let people uh know where they can find you at. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Stunna Dior. You can find me on Instagram at the real Stunna Dior, T H E R E A L Stunna Dior. You can stream all my music on all platforms, Stunna Dior. And if you don't know who I am, baby, do your Googles. We outside. Okay. 
Okay. Shout out to Google. Shout out to Ask Jeeves. It's your boy Reality. You already know what's going on, man. It's him, not them, man. It's the Purple Shell Podcast. You did what's saying? The Purple Shell. Shout out to Ask Jeeves. I ain't using Ask Jeeves. <laughs>